Today we're going to start off with the cycles for life. These include the carbon, water, and nitrogen cycles. Our agenda for this is going to be the sun, the carbon cycle, looking at photosynthesis and cellular respiration, the nitrogen cycle, focusing on soil, and the water cycle. Let's start off with the sun. The sun. The sun is needed for nearly all life to exist. But why? It is the main power source of the water slash hydrologic cycle and the carbon cycle, photosynthesis. Meaning cellular respiration cannot occur without the sun playing a part. It also keeps plants alive to help with the nitrogen cycle. Our key point here is the sun is the ultimate source for Earth's life. Moving on, here we are about to start the carbon cycle. The carbon cycle. Carbon is the building block for the matter that makes up the bodies of all living things. Carbon is in everything. Producers take in carbon dioxide from the atmosphere during photosynthesis. Then consumers obtain energy from these molecules by breaking them down into simpler molecules through the process called cellular respiration. And here we're gonna go through the full cycle. So starting off, the producers, like that tree, use carbon from carbon dioxide to produce carbon-containing molecules, like glucose and starches. Then this glucose is taken in by the consumers who then break down that glucose during cellular respiration. Consumers then release water and carbon dioxide to repeat the carbon cycle and energy cycle we learned last unit. The carbon cycle takeaways. Carbon is the building block of all life. The sun is a direct part of this cycle. Photosynthesis or producers and cellular respiration consumers are a huge part of this cycle. All carbon is recycled. Very important to remember. And now a carbon dioxide situation. Carbon in the form of carbon dioxide is also recycled in the environment when fossil fuels such as oil, coal, and natural gas are burned. What problem is associated with burning of fossil fuels? Global warming. Releasing all of those gases starts creating a lot of problems for us. Our next stop is going to be the water cycle. The water cycle or the hydrologic cycle. So what is it? It's the journey water takes as it circulates from the land to the sky and back again. The sun is the power source of this cycle. But why is the water cycle important? Well, life needs water, but why? Plants use it for photosynthesis. Most animals need it to help with digestion and it helps regulate metabolism and remove used materials from the body. Think about what is inside of us and what helps get rid of the waste. And then the plants need water and so does all life. The water cycle takeaways. All life needs water. The sun is the power source for this cycle once again and water helps all other cycles either directly or indirectly. 
and all water is recycled. The nitrogen cycle. The nitrogen cycle. Just the facts, Mr. B. Just the facts. Nitrogen is a building block in the matter that makes up living things, such as proteins. All amino acids have nitrogen. Air is mostly nitrogen. 78% of what we breathe is nitrogen. But most organisms cannot use nitrogen gas that's in the air. Nitrogen gas is called free nitrogen because it is not combined with other kinds of atoms. Most organisms can use nitrogen only when it has been fixed or combined with other elements to form nitrogen compounds. The nitrogen cycle. Fixation of nitrogen. We start with our free nitrogen and a bacteria. Their interaction creates ammonia. That ammonia is then interacted with another bacteria that is broken down and changed into a nitrite. Finally, this last bacteria is one of the most important jobs and turns that nitrite into a nitrate. And nitrates help create amino acids. So now plants can use it. Here we're gonna look at the next steps. So plants will create amino acids. Then the animals or consumers eat those plants or each other to get nitrogen. The nitrogen is returned when plants and animals die or from waste, releasing ammonium. The decomposers, or fungi and bacteria, change ammonium ions into nitrates and nitrites. This is nitrification. Another type of bacteria breaks down nitrogen completely, which is denitrification into N2, or free nitrogen, and this is released back into the air. Some takeaways of the nitrogen cycle. Nitrogen is a building block for life with proteins and amino acids. Free nitrogen is not combined with other kinds of atoms. Most plants and animals can only use fixed nitrogen. Bacteria is the most important part of this cycle. I cannot stress that enough. Without bacteria, this cycle does not work. And the sun still plays a part in this cycle because plants need the sun to live. And please check out the animation of the nitrogen cycle to further understand how this process works.